Welcome to my presentation. I will be talking about the steam train or railroad, one of the most influential inventions of the last centuries that propelled the industrial revolution and changed people's lives. I'll be tackling four different aspects or influence of the invention, but first I'll be talking about the history itself. By the late 1700s, the steam engine was adopted across the United Kingdom and the US and were powering factories and other operations. But it wasn't until the year 1804 when the first locomotive railway was built by Richard Thefthick, used to haul iron in Wales. A few years later, in 1807, the first fair paying passenger railway service in the world was established in the Ostermouth Railway in Swansea, Wales. The aim was to transport people and goods for more lengthy distances over a shorter period of time. Therefore, the economical impact of the steam powered trains was immense. Firstly, it helped businesses be more profitable as it busted the production of natural resources, which became more cheaper to obtain and created numerous new industries, making, for instance, England less dependent on textiles and Europe less agricultural and more centered around mass businesses. For example, British iron production increased nearly 2,500% from 19. 96 to 1854. The railroads also had a massive impact on society. By speeding up travel time and making traveling more affordable, people from different social classes could go to further cities, which brought people closer together. Moreover, this provided a wide range of job opportunities, which brought people into cities and changed demographics. In 1801, before the use of steam railroads, London had 1,170,000 people. After the invention, however, the population of London had more than doubled itself to around 2,700,000 people in 1851. Furthermore, by 1861, only 2.4% of London's population were employed in agriculture, while 494 were in the manufacturing or transportation business. Another topic worth of discussion is the cultural effects that the steam power train provided. It can be said that railroads literally changed time as we know it, or at least created a standardization of time. For example, before railroads, noon in New York was 4 minutes ahead of Philadelphia and 12 minutes ahead of Washington, D.C. This means that every city had their own time. This changed in the 19th century mainly because railroad needed timetables, because people and industries needed to know at which time the train was going to arrive or leave the station. Therefore, on December 1847, the railway in Britain established the Greenwich Mean Time as a standardized time for the entire country. This method was followed by many countries such as USA or Canada and led eventually to a standardization of the time worldwide decided at the Meridian Conference in 1884. This helped shaping our actual time zones and modeling the world's maps we use today. Of course, not all consequences of this invention were positive. The expansion of the railroads destroyed the traditional relationship with the nature. For instance, since railroads required the use of wood to build them, many forests and habitats were destroyed for the industrial advancement. The advent of the steam locomotive also saw the major air pollution as a result from burning coal to propel the steam engine that powered the trains. This led to a rapid increase in coal consumption in Great Britain, rising from 20 million tons in 1820 to 160 million tons in 1899. In conclusion, it can be stated that the railroad not only had major effects on the Industrial Revolution, but also on the way our modern society was shaped. As the railroad industry progressed and developed itself over the years, nowadays trains are one of the most efficient means of transport. In the future, high-speed rail could serve as an alternative to short-distance air travel, and conventional rail can complement all the means of transport to provide efficient mobility and environmental business. Thank you for your time.